We, of course, have heard repeatedly from Sam Bankman Freed in the lead up to this trial actually beginning, say it was never his intent to commit fraud on anyone. He has pleaded not guilty to all of these charges. How difficult is this going to be, though, for his defense team? I think it's going to be a, a, a big lift for him. Intent in white collar cases is always a hard thing to, to prove up for the government. But in this case, as, as Mr. Ray said, it's, it was a straightforward case of embezzlement and misappropriation. So Mr. Mr. Bankman Freed is going to be faced with what is really a pretty simple story. And I think it's going to be hard for him to, to the extent he takes on the burden, to defeat that. Well, and of course, the prosecution is aided by the fact that they have three pretty key cooperating witnesses, Gary Wong, who co-founded FTX, and Nishad Singh, who was the head of engineering, Caroline Ellison, who was the CEO of Alameda Research. How critical are they going to be in this case? I think they're going to be key. I mean, cooperating witnesses are really the best evidence that the government has. They give a window into what happened, and that's what the jurors want to hear in the end. The emails, the bank records are a little dry, but the drama is really from the people who committed the crime with him. Matter here, Josh, how difficult will it be for the government to be proving intent in a case like this? I don't think this is going to be that hard of a, a case for the government. If they keep it at a high, simple level, which is this is, Mr. Ray said again, this is about misappropriation, lies, and greed. And with uh, when Kaylee mentioned the cooperating witnesses, between those and all the documents and the admissions that Mr. Bankman-Fried has made, I think if the government uh, keeps uh, marching along as it will, getting the evidence in, uh, we'll likely see a conviction. How much is he expected to testify himself? I, my expectation is that he, he will testify or it's more likely than the average white-collar defendant. And, of course, he's not average for uh, a number of reasons, Joss, including that just a year ago, this was someone who had tens of billions of dollars at his disposal and quickly saw it all uh, disappearing. Obviously, there are a number of charges in this case. There's seven in total. Which, in your mind, are, A, the most serious and most likely to result in a conviction? In the end, they're all actually about the same thing. I know that there's white collar, uh, wire fraud and securities fraud and conspiracy. But the story is really taking money that he shouldn't have had, misusing it, and telling lies to investors and to the customers. And of course, conviction would really just be step one. Then there's the sentencing question. And we've been talking all day about how he could very well, if convicted, spend the rest of his life in prison, given some of these charges come with a 20-year maximum sentence. Do you think, if found guilty, that that would actually happen? What kind of sentence would you expect him to get? Yes, he, he faces, if convicted, life in jail. Mm -hmm. I mean, the closest analog is Bernie Madoff, who, of course, got life in prison. So I think that that will be the argument the government may make. I think it's unlikely he gets that long in the end because he's so young. Oh, interesting. Josh, obviously this is a historic case that we're seeing when it comes to the world of white-collar crime. Uh, it, it involves crypto, but really it involves a lot of financial techniques we've seen before in other white-collar crime cases. What about it to you is the most striking? I agree with you. It's 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 a crypto case, but it's it's not, uh, and that's what the government will focus on. Is that it's it's really just financial fraud in the crypto space. I think the defense is going to want to make it all about crypto, and the government's going to want to make it sort of of a piece with the standard large multi-billion dollar fraud that is, is obvious for the jury to follow. And we find often on this show, Bloomberg Crypto, that there are varying degrees of familiarity with crypto as a concept. So especially given today, this jury selection that is happening, how crucial is the jury and their pre-existing knowledge or not going to, going to be in this case? I don't think that pre-existing knowledge is, is a good or a bad here. I think what people meaning on either side of the, uh, of the case are going to want to get out of the jury are people who have a bias for or against crypto. But 
the, the understanding of crypto, which no one can really pretend to be an expert in, mm -hmm. is not something that the government wants to go near. Uh, I think the defense may want to go there, but it's not something that we I would expect a jury to have. And just on the subject of defense, and we've said a number of times how Sam Bankman-Fried is, is an unusual white-collar crime defendant, not just in that he may testify himself over the course of this trial, but he has been so vocal in the media, making appearances, trying to make his case, not having his defense attorneys do it. How does that complicate things for his legal team? I think it makes it, it much more difficult. He has, he has great lawyers, uh, but controlling a defendant like him is, is adding to their burden. I mean, the, the evidence is what it is. It seems rather strong. But when he's out in front of the media, uh, it's making, it's, he's just adding another layer. Obviously, the judge is not happy with him either. And finally, we have been told that this trial could take weeks, up to six weeks potentially, unless something happens, right? Do you think there's any real probability of potentially a plea deal? Or you think that is, is not something that would be pursued in this case? I don't think that the government's going to offer anything at this point. I, I read that uh, one of the prosecutors said in front of the court this morning there have been no formal offers. And now that they're in jury selection, I think that they're going to make him what's called eat the indictment. If, 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 if they've gone this far, they prepared. The, it's a great team of prosecutors, and I don't think that they're going to So it's just, too late. It's too late, I think.